and trucks. Welcome back, everybody. Kind of looking at how much rain we ended up getting. Very spotty as we got through yesterday afternoon. So some areas did see about a tenth of an inch. Some areas like around Erion County here and kind of portions of Crockett County just to the northeast of Ozona ended up getting just a little over an inch. And then Coleman County ended up seeing the most amount, getting about an inch and a half for yesterday's storms. Right now we have 44 degrees in San Angelo. The wind's still coming in from the southwest at six miles an hour. Around the rest of the region, temperatures are sitting mostly in the low to mid 40s, mid to upper 30s in the southwest corner of the region here. Looking at our satellite radar, not a whole lot going on as it continues through the rest of our day. We are expecting plenty of sunshine throughout the morning into the afternoon. Winds will kind of calm down a little bit later this morning and then pick up back from the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour so winds won't be as breezy as what we had yesterday and those highs are looking to get into the upper 70s to low 80s as we go through our Tuesday so overall not too bad a little bit warmer than what we had yesterday now we will have clouds moving in mid-morning tomorrow and then we're going to have a few showers developing and then Thursday is also going to be the same thing we're going to have clouds rolling in early morning around midnight on Thursday and then we're going to have those showers and storms developing moving off to the east so we may end up having similar to what we had yesterday afternoon happen tomorrow in the morning as well as early Thursday morning tonight we're dropping to 51 degrees for a low clear skies and those winds from the southeast at up to 10 miles an hour. And then we're going to have northern winds coming in 5 to 10 miles per hour, 73 for a high. We're going to have a cooling trend as we get into the next couple of days. And those showers and storms are possible, like I said, in the mid to late morning. And then looking at the rest of our seven day forecast here, 68 expected for a high on Thursday. And then coming up this weekend, we'll have mid 80s for a high, but a cold front will drop us to the upper 50s by Sunday. And scattered showers and possible storms likely around the region Sunday and Monday.